Hey everyone, this is my 1982, I believe, Apple IIe. Uh, it's been in storage for a while. Thought I'd take it out and see if, if I can power it up. See what happens, if it still works. Let's see what we get here. I have the original box. Uh, that's a cover to a monitor. I don't know, maybe it's the cover to the computer itself, but there it is. It's Apple IIe. Here's pretty light compared to today's computers, probably equivalent to a tablet. <laughs> Forgot how light this is. Oh, there it is. Let's take a look at this. Still has that yellowing, I think, associated with the plastic that these were made out of, even though it was never in the sun. This is the inside. So I forgot you, ac you actually have to um, feed the cables through the back there to plug them into the the controller card here for the two five and a quarter inch drives drive A and B I think, that, I think that's what a super serial card um, I do have the Apple image writer printer is that what it, I think that's what it was called you can see here no dust whatsoever and that's because there was no fan pulling dust into the unit. The power supply. So let me go get the, the hard drives and I've got a stand for the monitor. I just have the green phosphorus monitor and I've got that um, fan that goes on, the clips onto the stand, I guess. I think it was for power supply saver or something like that. They were called that. Well, let me go hook it up, get it all together, and see if it powers on. So here are the two drives drive one and two. I was just looking, I don't recall ever grounding this or there being a. Um, any type of connector. I just remember the cables being in here through the slots uh, just going through there loose. I don't know if there was ever a bracket made for that. So let me go ahead and hook these up. So here's a, a stand you could get so you could slide the um, Apple IIe out, I guess put boards in it and it wouldn't have the weight actually on the Apple IIe itself and the disk, dri disk drives sat on top of this and then the monitor sat on top of the disk drives as you can see by the, the marks left over from the feet from the monitor. Let's put this. I reseated the boards. They've been sitting for so long. It's a good idea to reseat them probably a couple of times, but we'll see if this starts up. 
And I've got this power supply saver fan. I don't recall how loud it is, or it was. It basically just clips on to the side here through these vent slots. Like that. Thought I had lost the cord, but I forgot that this had a, a plug for the Apple IIe right here. So I'll hook this up. And last but not least, And last but not least, the green phosphorus. I thought this was a lot bigger than... I seem to recall it was a lot bigger. But not too bad. I wonder if that's going to power up actually. And I've got my joystick. I remember I had an RF modulator some so I could hook this up to a color TV when I had it. Here's the, here's the RCA cable for the monitor. So I'm a little hesitant about turning this on, but uh, let's see. Give it a try. I did recently just uh, purchase a disc cleaner or a cleaning disc for these two uh, drives before I put any of the software in. Uh, let's turn it on though. Ooh. Wow, that fan is loud. Turn the monitor on. Hey, got the Apple IIe symbol up there. Wow, that, that fan. I don't think it used to be that loud. Maybe it'll calm down a little bit once it warms up. Or not. It's getting louder. So basically that's all the Apple does without the software. I don't recall. it's as much as the fan is vibrating or it's just the way that this mechanically attaches by just sitting there. Right, that was supposed to extend the life of the power supply. So nothing's smoking yet. Let me go see if I can find the software for this. <laughs> 